In this DIY tutorial video, we are going to be making a rain chain out of some very small and miniature terracotta pots. So let's go and get started. I am using eight terracotta pots for this project. I ended up actually getting these over at Savers. You might be able to find them over at maybe Goodwill or any of the thrift stores that are around your area. I am also using 16 gauge wire. You're going to cut a piece that is just about three inches and bend it into a chain. You are going to be bending this wire a lot and you might want to consider wearing some gloves. If you don't, it's going to chew up your fingers a little bit and you're also going to have some scratches on your hands. After you have this chain made, which it should touch in the middle if not overlap slightly, bend a piece of wire and leave it open. This one you are not going to make a chain with. What you're going to go and do is you're going to actually go and slip this through the bottom and really make sure to go and get it scrunched so it does fit through. Test it out a couple of times. This first one I made a little bit differently, but I kind of learned as I went as to how to go and secure everything. And as you move on to the next terracotta pot, what you're going to do is take these two pieces, slip it through the bottom hole, go and take one of the chains that you've made, take both pieces that are at the bottom poking out, go and secure this chain, and then cut off any extra so it's not sticking past where the bottom of the terracotta pot is. You're going to continue to go and connect all of your terracotta pots exactly like this, have the scrunched up piece, push it through the bottom, attach one more chain, and then bend the ends. At the end, you're going to go and just have this one piece that you bend to secure the last chain in place. And what I did was I took a pair of pliers and I went and I swirled it. Then I pressed them together, but you do not need to go and do this. What you could do instead is you could put something at the end, just make sure to secure this last pot in place so it is not going and moving around or false. After you have this last one secured in place, go and take another piece of wire, twist it into a circle. This is going to be used for your hanger. Go and attach this to the chain there, make it tighter and create a loop at the end. Now you can go and hang this outside, and when it rains, the water is going to flow through all of the holes, along with also sometimes maybe the sides. This rain chain is both decorative, cute, plus also too, it can go and help to redirect water, and also water your plants when it rains very heavily outside. Thank you all so much for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take it easy, and take care.